Good day, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Hey guys. Okay, doing? I gotta go. We'll uh, come back here. The detectives have arrived. I need to tell them what's been happening and show them the evidence. Not now. So he'll stay in the store until we're ready to have his ass arrested. I said not now. Turn your mics off. We show them the security footage of Joe walking over to Jeff's desk and stealing jewelry again and again and again. He knew he was in trouble once we walked through that door. Joe, what did you steal from me? Tell me the truth. And then he reaches into his pocket and pulls out an assortment of jewelry worth over $7,000. I almost had a heart attack. This is my loyal employee, my head of security, the guy that I trusted for the last three years. Today we will show you criminals arrested on Hardcore Pond. I sold my that $5,000 worth of equipment. I came down here to pay off. And y'all gonna tell me y'all ain't got it. Yo, you gonna what? You heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're gonna do to Man, me. Watch your get your hand out of get my hand out of my face. Who the f you're Man, talking to? I'm telling you, you ain't supposed to touch me. I'm gonna show you Kill me. I'm gonna show you. Oh my god. All the time. Who you gonna kill? Huh? Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? Let us see, Joe's arrest. This clip is one of the most heartbreaking for the staff of American Jewelry. They noticed for quite some time that jewelry has been disappearing from the desk, so they set up a trap. We have a potential thief in the house. We need to find out what the is going on. We're going to set up a sting. Jeff's gonna set up some jewelry on his desk. He's gonna put his magnifying glass on top. When he comes back in the morning, he'll see if somebody moves it. We don't know what's going on or who's involved. We can't trust anybody. Everyone is a suspect. We're gonna get to the bottom of it, no question. It's gone. What? The ring is gone. The ring is gone. What are you talking about? I put my visor over top of it, and this morning my visor was moved, and the ring is gone. When they check the video out, the most alarming thing comes up. Hey guys, cameras are fixed. Jeff, cameras are fixed. Don't just take me a second to load this up. What? No, it can't be Brian. What's he doing? Looking, looking around. I knew he was making sure everything is put away. I knew that couldn't God. be. I knew it couldn't be. Hold on a second. Oh my God. <gasps> Son of a. Joe, the most trusted guard, has been stealing from them day after day. Hold on a second. Joe. What's he doing? Oh my God. What you doing? Oh my God. <gasps> Son of a Holy Our head of security, Joe's the crook. Oh my God. Joe, he's been with me for over three years. He's been part of my family. He's the last person I would have ever thought would steal from us. It's absolutely heartbreaking. How long do you think this is going back for? Let me pull up the previous day. Oh my God. Son of a Hold on, another day. Oh my God. We pulled up the footage from previous days. We found that he was stealing from us day after day after day. We got killed. Is he here yet? He'll be here in an hour, but for right now, it's business as usual. Until I figure out my next move, the most important thing is to keep cool and keep the store running. I don't want anyone finding out. We can't trust a soul right now. The toughest thing was acting normal throughout the day. I see Joe walk in the store, and I feel absolutely sick to my stomach. If we show our hand to Joe, he's gonna bolt like a son of a yeah, hi, this is Les Gold from American Jewelry. I have an employee theft. Hopefully, there'll be enough evidence to have Joe arrested as soon as you can. Thank you. Guys, I'm gonna talk to you. It's real important. I just called the cops. They're on their way. Keep an eye on Joe. Make sure he's available and make sure he doesn't run out of the store. I can't believe I have to go out, look Joe in the eye, and act like business is normal. The guy that is supposed to protect us, knowing that he betrayed us, it's gonna be tough as hell. 
I bought them in like what, like two months ago? All of a sudden, it's just up now. The nose piece came off. So can you fix them or something for me? Unbelievable, man. Your nose you know piece is broken? Did you put it in too, like, aggressive? No. No? I just took it out and it just fell out. I'm like, what the f is this? This is screw missing, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yes. Well, can you just put a screw in there for me? I just fix my please. I can. I can charge you. You can charge me? Yeah. What kind of f is that? I hate this place. Do you? I swear I do. Okay. Come back when you like us. I was going to help you, but your mouth just kept talking. Oh, come on. And come now on, you got to get walking. Bye. Listen, can you just fix my glasses, please? I will pay for it. Okay. 15. You need to step aside. I need to help other customers, and I'll bring it out for you. All right. I want my mother glasses back. Fixed. Do me a favor. Just stop. I'm gonna keep, what you mean, stop? So I'm not going to have you roll up all my other customers. So do you want this fixed or not? Go ahead. Go ahead. What you got to do? You might want to get a too. You know what? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Come no, on, come on. Here, take your Go somewhere else. Let me get your money back. Come on over here. Sure will. This place. Some bullshit. You're with the wrong person right now. I guarantee you. Get the out of the store. Give my money first. Leave. It's unbelievable that I have to trust Joel to have my back. Yeah. Oh. You get out of here. Uh. My dad wants me to keep my cool, but all I want to do is scream. The detectives arrive, and Les shows them the evidence, and the head of security gets busted. Can't do for it. How about 375? Go right around the side and we'll take care of it. Hey guys. Okay, I gotta go. We'll uh, come back here. The detectives have arrived. I need to tell them what's been happening and show them the evidence. So just keep your eyes on the front door. Okay. Not now. Joe has no idea we're onto him. We have to keep him occupied so he'll stay in the store until we're ready to have his arrested. I said not now. Turn your mics off. We show them the security footage of Joe walking over to Jeff's desk and stealing jewelry again and again and again. I'm gonna get him, I'll bring him back here. Hey, Joe. I gotta ask you a question. You're the only one who would know his answer. He knew he was in trouble once we walked through that door. Joe, did you steal from me? Tell me the truth. He said, yes, I did. The detectives call in uniformed officers to put the cuffs on him. And then he reaches into his pocket and pulls out an assortment of jewelry worth over $7,000. I almost had a heart attack. You go this way. This is my loyal employee, my head of security, the guy that I trusted for the last three years. Busting stealing. Get a whole pocket full of ours, just now, too. Do you think he was working with someone else? If he was, it could be anyone. Christina's fired. Joe isn't the only one of the employees trying to fool Les, Seth, and Ash. So check that out. Oh, Pandora. Pandora. It's not real, though. Huh? No, how much we got into it? $150. Let's see. That's not real. That's a part by Christina for $150. What? $150. Yeah, this Who's is definitely that? not real. Christina, one of the girls who sits at the windows, has been pawning her own stuff for more than it's worth. She has a lot of fake jewelry pawned for high amounts. Christina runs the loan window. We allow our employees to pawn their merchandise. I was going through potentially expired pawns. I looked it up. It said Pandora. So I pulled it out, showed it to him. Let me pull up her account. Let me see if she has anything in pawn. Well, here's the ticket. Let me pull it up. Let's go look in the vault and pull up everything in her account because something is fishy. Let's go. Look what we just found. What's that? All the stuff. From? Christina's account that she had in her name that she pawned for high amounts. That's not real. Really? Really. Yeah, another Pandora bracelet for 400 It's not bucks. real. That watch. That watch. 50 for a watch. You have $10 in pawn. Christina has worked for me for seven years. I hired her, I trained her, and I even treated her like family. And this is how I get paid back. 
can't trust anybody, right? How long has this been going on? A year. Are wow. you kidding? No. Nah. So they're all past due? No, she kept well, extensions. extending, she kept extending them. them. So extending they would never them. show up as being pulled. That's yeah. exactly right. She missed one. Yeah. What I need you to do is put me the pawn tickets, and then we'll have a little talk with Christina. Unreal. Can't trust anybody, can you? They call her in, and she confesses what she was doing. So here's what I need you to do. Go get security. Then go get Ashley and Seth, and then bring me in Christina. You get it. You know why you're in here? I wrote up the loan. I wrote it up, but I only did it when we were busy. So that who was at work or at the desk just never paid any attention to it. How much were you directed to loan on a watch like that? I don't know, like 20, 40 dollars. And so you you wrote it up for three fifty. Yes. And what about this piece right here? How much did you give a loan on it for? Four fifty. Four fifty. How much would we normally give a loan on that for? I've seen some go for fifty. So in other words, you wrote up a fake ticket and stole money from us. Please tell me the truth. I can't hear you. Yeah. Yes. How much money do you think you've stolen from American Jewelry? Uh, I don't know. Would you say it's over a thousand dollars? I don't understand what that is. Yes, that that yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Seth proceeds to call the police right away, and they take her away. Hey, it's Seth from American Jewelry. How are you? Sorry to bother you, but uh, I just busted another one of my employees stealing. Have you been working with any other employee? No. So you were just stealing from us all alone without any knowledge of anybody else stealing from us, correct? I don't know how much we've lost, but what I do know is she couldn't have done this alone. She had to have an accomplice. This is your card right now. This is, you pull that ace out of the hole, and I'll let you walk free. Walk out the door right now. Right, right now. now. Want to get out of jail? Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop the bleeding. I'm going to stop it here and now. Set me free, Christina, and I will open up that door. Tell me something that's going to get you out of jail today. Who's doing to me today? I don't know anybody that's doing today. You're sure? I don't but you've already admitted that you stole more than $1,000, correct? Last chance, because once that door opens and the cops come in here, I have no option. Last chance. She's running loans up for herself. Okay. And not bringing the merchandise in? Once that door opens, it's over. I want to help you, Christina. Okay. How you doing, Les? I never would have expected it from Christina. I know. It's awful. It's absolutely terrible. A trusted employee stealing from me after all these years. Life-threatening. To kick this off, let's start with the first guy who starts yelling for everyone in the store to hear. Motherfucker sold my that $5,000 worth of equipment. I came down here to pay off. And y'all gonna tell me y'all ain't got it. His real mistake was coming up to Les and starting to threaten him. That's when things get real. Yo, look. You gonna what? You heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're gonna do to me. Watch your Get your hand out of my face. Get your face. You're talking to. I'm telling you, you ain't supposed to touch me. Oh, man, that's okay. What the hell is this guy thinking? He doesn't come in and pay. He lost an expensive camera. That's the way it is. When you start threatening me, it's time to go. What just happened? I'm gonna shove you all. Camera was passed. Do he throw his hand in my face? I don't know if he's gonna hit me or not. I'm gonna shove you all. Right at that moment, Joe grabs him, and the cops get a call. Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? If somebody threatened us, there is no chance you was getting to your car. You may have a gun, knife, something like that. Who you gonna kill, huh? Who you gonna kill, huh? Not my face. Who you gonna kill? Not my face. Who you gonna kill? Who you gonna kill? I got every right to be pissed. You have every right to be pissed. You don't even have any right to put your hands in my face. Call the cops. Call the cops. Right up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. We're all concerned about the safety of my employees and the customers. We are not going to allow anyone to come into our store and threaten our life. Nobody. Oh, what happened? He had a 
bond that expired. So I was standing behind the counter and he came up screaming. My security guard came in and started escorting him out. As he was going out is when the incident happened about him threatening, I'm gonna kill you. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting like any normal person would. The guy lost it, but he apologized in front of the police. We gonna walk you out. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. Car break-ins. Some customers came in to pawn or sell their stuff because their cars were broken into. How you guys doing? All right, set it right down. What brings you to the store today? Um, I was uh, wanted to pawn my TV today because yesterday my car was broken into at the mall. Oh, where, across the street? Yeah. Really? Yep, stole my sound and broke my window. Holy sh really trying to replace my window. Okay. It's cold outside. I see that. Were there more cars that were broken into over there? Like four of the windows were broken into. Bad motherfuckers out there, you know? Yeah. You. you gotta pay attention, man. Yeah, there's a rash of car break-ins in the neighborhood. I'm getting a little concerned because they're getting really close to the store. Everyone gets alarmed when Bobby comes in saying his car was Tammy and broken into. What's up, IJ? I go next door to get a coffee. I come back out, I'm in there five minutes. My f***ing car got broken into. No sh Right next door. My f***ing phone charger's gone. My phone's gone. My car looks like a f***ing tornado hit it. This is a really bad situation. You went for coffee and people broke into your car? I was in the store five minutes. You know what? It's everywhere. They broke in across the street. They broke in on the corner. It's sickening. We're going to have security outside because we need to make sure our parking lot is secure and everyone in it is safe. Are the security cameras working? Yeah, the security cameras are working. Just make sure the guards are fully aware that there's a problem in the city right now. I mean, I understand it happens a lot, but to our own bullshit. If you guys see anything, I mean anything, anything that looks suspicious, bring it to our attention. These break-ins are happening all around us, and you can bet your ass I'm going to do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen on my property. Out of nowhere, Joe catches someone breaking into the car in the parking lot. Liz. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz. Yeah. Somebody outside breaking into the car. Now? Like, call them. Yeah. <laughs> Our undercover security guards caught this girl breaking into a car. I was walking through the parking lot. I noticed this woman breaking into cars. So we caught her and detained her. We're not going to allow stuff like that to happen in our parking lot. Are you kidding me? How old are you? Eight. And what made you break into a car? Where are you from? I'm from Detroit. How'd you get up here? One of my friends. Where are they? They left. They left because you got busted? I can walk. You can? Why are you going to jail? Because the only way you're gonna ever learn not to break into cars, especially in my lot. Okay. okay. Sit it back. Call the police. Whose please. car? Not hers. Oh, oh, oh. So he found her doing it. Yeah. Found her doing it in the parking lot. Did she admit to it? All right. Yeah. Go to jail. And then another one goes down. I didn't do it, no. You didn't do what? What is this? Who's is it? So he was doing it here? He was breaking into cars in our parking lot. He hit her car bag and I was trying to get away. The call police? Ashley called 911. I don't have a phone. I've asked somebody to give me a phone. She was going through all these cars over here. I, I ain't done car. Really? Hi, I have uh, somebody broken into somebody's car. I need the police out here as soon as possible. Well, I don't know what the you're talking about. Yeah. How you doing? When we walked this guy back into the room, it looked like this girl was going to have a heart attack. We know that this guy was with her. Now the cops can deal with him. I tried breaking the car out there. I opened the door and they came and got me. That's all I did. And now the cops can deal with them. We busted these two thieves and we're pressing charges to the fullest extent. My customers are not going to be not protected. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Hey. We caught uh, two of them breaking into cars. We got them. Here's one of them, here's the other one. It's sad, most of my customers come in because they're struggling. Then you have these two thieves taking complete advantage of them. There's no question, we do not allow mother going into our customers' cars and breaking in. You with us, we're with you. That's how we roll. Stolen microphones. 
I don't think many people realize they can't fool the staff into buying their stolen stuff. Take this guy as an example. He comes up to Rich looking to sell some microphones. Hey, what's up, bud? I'm looking to pawn these uh, microphones I picked up from a uh, concert last night. Let me see. That's nice. They just threw them out in the crowd and I picked them up. So they threw these things out into the crowd and you just happened to catch one? So at what point did they actually take this off with the rack and put it nicely inside of this thing? No, I got Zip them. it up and then threw it out there. When did that happen? It just got out in the crowd and I picked them up. Really? Really? Hold on. Keep an eye on him. Not one time have I seen a performer throw a mic out into the crowd as a gift for coming to the freaking concert. It looks like these microphones are stolen, but I'm not 100% sure, so I gotta get some proof. Rich is smarter than this guy, and he called the club immediately, and they do have some missing microphones. Some of my best friends are owners, so I'm gonna give them a call and see if they're missing any equipment. I'm from American Jewelry. I have a gentleman down here who is trying to sell me some microphones. Are you missing some? Exactly, I've got them. You're gonna need to come down here. The club owner's on his way down now to see if these really are his mics. Listen, I got a guy out there. Yeah. He's got these microphones. He's telling me this bull story about how he got these from a concert last night. I already called the club. They're missing them. But what I want to do is get his information and keep them here as long as I can so we can get this thing all sorted out, all right? Go do it. All right. Ash, call the cops. Hi. Um, this is American Jewelry, and we have stolen merchandise. Thank you. They're on their way. The plot thickens. They hold the guy and his friends until the cops come down, and then he gets to ride in the backseat of the police car. Kid comes in with some cordless mics that I'm pretty sure that he stole from a concert. The club manager's on his way down here. The cops are on their way down here. I gotta do whatever it takes to make sure this kid doesn't leave the store. How much were you looking for? 100 bucks a piece, if possible. How about 75 a piece? That works. You got your ID with you? No, I'm gonna have to have somebody to pawn them for me. I ain't got my ID. I lost it with my wallet at the show. Like. Move that away from my face a little bit, okay? <laughs> I really wanted to punch this freaking kid right in the face. What are we doing, yo? Nothing. Hold on. But what I need to do is calm down, keep it under control until the club manager and the cops get here. Who the f are these kids now? Are these his friends? You know what? We could have a problem on our hands. Make sure security's at the front door. How you doing, man? Good, what's up? How you doing? Good. Hey, Mike, what's going on? I'm so glad the club manager's finally here so we can figure out what's going on. Last night, somebody slid in under a cage that we had and uh, lifted two of these mics. That's it. So we're waiting for the police to come. Okay. Uh, they're leaving. No, I man, you leave. can't leave. The cops told us to hold you here. Cops are coming. Well, they can wait. Well, I think. Why do we got to stay? We all got to stay. I'm not the person that came You're all involved in the group. Anything. That's the way it works. Until we know what's going on, that's the way it's going to be. So if you want us to have a seat till the cops get here. I want to punch every one of these suckers surrounding me and just walk out the doors. What's going on, guys? Hi, I'm Rich. How's it going? This gentleman is from where the stuff was stolen last night. He said, yes, uh, I'm actually missing two microphones from the concert last night because the kid told me that that's where they were at last night. These guys this said that yeah, they came were in. in the audience and they threw them out to the audience. Inside of the cases. Right. The, the guy with the black hat. the black hat on. Guys. My pleasure. I'm um, so happy. Amazing. We're glad we could help. Glad we could get that back. Handcuffed to calm down. The people at the store also mess up sometimes, and this is one of those times. This guy was given the wrong game system out of pawn, and they gave him another one while they looked for him. I want my. I paid for my. Get back. Not nobody else. I don't want nobody. I want my. Y'all give me my. For my money. I'm trying to make a rifle. You're not working with me if you're not paying me for my. Oh. He's back. This guy was given the wrong system out of pawn, so we gave him a loaner system till we found his. The problem is we still haven't found it. Let me be honest with you. We don't have it in the store right now. How is it not in the store? I don't have the faintest idea. Apparently, he's not very happy with the gaming system we gave him. Not sure why, but it doesn't matter. It's our screw-up. I can give you the money back that you paid to redeem it, or you can just wait a week. He's sending me home with nothing. I'm sorry. Give me my money back. So let's come over here. Let's write him up. Come right over here, and we'll take care of you. You know what the sad part about it is? Y'all not doing shit for the community. You ain't even trying to. The worst thing... What does the community have to do with you? Because I did something for you. Stop yelling at me. that? I'm a man, you a man. Don't Are you pissing me off? I don't give a f who, how many 
Cause you got with you. I don't give a f- partner. What does that mean? I, it means what I said. You what a man, that? I'm a man. Don't be stupid. You a man, you don't, don't be stupid. stupid. I don't give a f- Don't be Put stupid. Your no, no, no. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Kim, right you then. get my Don't be Put stupid. Things get heated up when he attempts to hurt Les. So they handcuff the guy until he calmed down. We gave him a system similar to the one that he pawned oh, until we find his. Now he's just being an ass about it. And the next get thing I know, my... hit the fan. Let's handcuff him. Now, sir, calm down. I was relieved to have him restrained and out of sight of the rest of my customers. But we still have to get his deal resolved and get him out the door. Can you and I talk? Yeah. I give you my word. Whatever I owe you, you're going to get. You don't think I'm supposed to be mad? Oh, here's what I can give you. I'll give you 150 bucks. I can let you use a game temporarily. He finally calmed down, and we struck a deal. OK. Make me a receipt. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, give him $150 hours and a game. Now we just need to get a signature on a receipt and get his ass out the door. Here's the phone number. It'll get you to Rich. If he doesn't satisfy you fast enough, talk to me. I'm sorry. This was one of those situations that should have never happened. The problem was Seth's guys f***ed up. They gave the customer the wrong merchandise. He tells me I can run stuff, and then he doesn't give me the power to do it. You know what, Dad? If I'm in charge of the warehouse, let me be in charge of it. Let me make the decisions. You have to trust me every once in a while. Fire the new hire. A new hire is at the store, and nobody was confident that Ashley should have hired her without Seth and Les knowing, and sure enough, it was a mistake. We hired this new girl. She's only been here for a week and a half. Half of those days, she's been late. I thought I was going to be later than when I was pulled in at 918. You need to be watched. You need to learn how we do things. Hey, Ash. What's up? I got a few concerns about the new girl, Tressa. OK. Out of the week and a half she's worked here, she's probably been late about at least half that. Really? Did she call? Uh, she didn't call. Another thing is that she has been taking merchandise out of the showcase to give to John to put on the computer so she could buy. Really? Um, she seemed to that she did it twice without letting me know. Brian's been a manager here for a long time. Brian doesn't ever have a problem with any employees here, but he's noticing Tressa is just not working out. So I just want to bring this up so you have knowledge of it. OK. okay. Thank you. We just have to keep an eye on her. Okay, no Thank problem. you. Thanks, Thanks, Brian. If an employee wants to buy something, you have to give it to one of the managers. We'll price it for you, and we'll be more than happy to sell it to you. Do not go behind my back and have another employee put it on the internet so you can buy it. Now that this has been brought to my attention, I have to keep a close eye on Tressa. Hey, Ashley. Uh, you said you wanted to know if Tressa asked me to put anything else on the internet. Yeah. Well, she did. She did? Another watch. Are you kidding? Nope, not at all. She didn't ask Brian. She didn't ask my brother. I, I don't think so, no. I'm pretty sure she didn't. I'll take care of it. Don't even put it on the internet. OK. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I made it very clear to Tressa not to take stuff from the showcases and give it to my employees to put on the internet. Did she asked me to put a watch on the internet? She didn't ask me, no. John came up to me. She didn't ask you? Yeah, don't complain. I have to check with Brian first to see if Tressa got permission to pull the watch from the display case. So she did not ask you. No, John came up to me and said just to let you know that she's got this watch and she wants me to put it in. And I didn't ask him to put it online yet. I didn't ask so him. So he to... wouldn't just offer it. Right. You said to come to one of you guys. Before I would have bought it, I would have came to you but guys. But you already asked him to put it on the internet. No. I said, was it a possibility? I pulled it out. I OK, even... you went around the bush and kind of asked him. No, I'm still not 100% sure if I wanted to buy it. This isn't making sense. You got cameras all over in here. Check it. Okay, I have no you're not going to gonna talk to me like that? Well, I'm not doing anything wrong. Tressa wants to buy merchandise, so she takes the merchandise out of the case. Well, she's not asking me or Ashley or anybody. I don't like to be caught up in bullshit like that. Long story short, she got fired. She was not willing to listen to anybody. She thought that she ruled this place, and I had to let her know she didn't. Tressa, you gotta go home the rest of the day. I'm sorry. And All right. You just made that move. Don't you're done. Back. Don't wave your hand at me like that. You're done. You're done. You're fired. You you're fired. You're done. That's fine. That's fine. We set policies and we know what's been told to you. And you're going to question us and then you're going to lie about it. I put the dagger in the situation. You're fired. Seth, is everything paid? I said I wasn't even sure if I was no. going to. It's fine. You're going to throw that at me? She throws her key at me. She threw her key at me? I tossed it in your hand. <laughs> I literally told everyone that you weren't as big of a bitch. I was wrong. Excuse me? Get the f out of here. 
out of here. I, get out of here. I, I, get out now. What did she say? That I am the. Get the out of here. You're fine. You handle it right. When I told Seth initially that I was going to hire her, he had doubts. You know, and I wanted to prove him wrong. But at the end of the day, he was right, and I should have listened to him. Steal the purse. An angry customer comes up to Ashley to tell her that she wants to take her purse out of the pond. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is the black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you money. know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn, and it does not belong to that lady. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. The security guard legit just appeared out of nowhere. It's uncanny, but awesome. Give me my purse. How are you? Would you mind getting over there and get my purse for me? OK, first of all, that's not your purse. How do you know it's not my purse? Because that purse has been out there. Let me see it. Let me look at it. Can I look at it? If you want to buy it? I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. First of all, I'm, I'm not, not First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a at idiot. You. Give me my purse, or I'm going to come over that counter and get it myself. What's it going to be? OK. Oh, my god. But the only thing this thief got was kicked out of the store. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Or Walk yourself out, yeah. You. Walk get your hands off Walk me. Walk yourself out. Boy. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Go where you got to go. I'm gonna kick your. You wait. You.